It relates to a feeling that you can't seem to control circumstances or events in your life. It involves feelings of futility in that your actions have very little power to create or influence change. These feelings lead to the idea that there is just no point in trying. These feelings lead to the belief that control is outside the realms of the self. It is beyond control. As a result, you simply give up. Surrender yourself to fortune, suffering in silence. This is learned helplessness. It stems from repeated failures to control events and situations in your life, resulting in the decline of motivation and performance. In 1967, experiments by Martin Seligman, James Overmeer, and Steve Mayer looked at this very phenomenon. Repeated inescapable shocks on canine participants were performed prior to the participants entering a shuttle box. Due to the inescapable shocks, and the repeated failed attempts to escape these shocks, the decline of motivation and performance was established. The feelings of giving up and surrendering to the shocks was instilled and carried through the experiment to the shuttle box. The submissive response observed by Seligman, Overmeyer, and Mayer was shown to inhibit normal adaptive behaviours. A dog that had not previously been exposed to inescapable shock will endure minimal shock prior to escape, whilst a dog that is exposed to inescapable shock prior to entering shuttle box training will take prolonged periods of shock and in some cases will submit to the shock until the shock expires. In contrast to humans, learned helplessness is far more easily identified and recognised than canine counterparts. On one common element uh, which can stem from the learned helplessness is that of depression. Depression can result from a feeling or feelings that there is no longer a sense of control and that it is your fault that you are helpless. This can lead to further ideas that certain aspects of life are inconsequential, leading to a persistent feeling of hopelessness or loss of control. It is more likely for a person to develop depression stemming from learned helplessness when they deem the loss of control as an internal issue, not an external issue. That is to say, they believe they are the one to blame and they are at fault, instead of an external influence. Furthermore, they may conclude that they are hopeless at everything and not a single attribute or, or event. This feeling of inadequacy can spread throughout any diverse scenario and can cause an individual to feel hopeless in further related experiences. In the end, learned helplessness in humans results from your experiences with events deemed uncontrollable. It is the experience that forms a belief that future similar events will also lead to a failure or loss of control. This affects your motivation, emotion and learning as well as health, all of which stem from a sense of personal control or indeed a lack thereof. Once you can identify what is causing the feelings of helplessness, the process of reversal can begin.